Hey, well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jared Ewing, and this is our week, January Week 1 Agent Spotlight. This week, we have my buddy and one of the original guys with me, Eric Bowling. Eric, thank you for joining me today. Oh, man, glad to do it. Absolutely. Ready for a great 2021. Well, hey, so am I. This is just so just real quick. And we 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 like to do these spotlights. I wanted to have Eric on. Eric is a huge contributor to the business. His team does millions and millions of dollars of business on a yearly basis, which puts him as an elite agency in the country. Not only that, but he is an equity bonus recipient. Equus paid out 250000 alone last month, Eric, in bonuses. So uh, congratulations for all the success that you and your team had in 2020. I'm sure 2021 is going to be a great year. But let's just do this real quick. You know, ta- Just take us back to almost 12 years ago about how you ran into this business for, for those, those of the individuals out there watching this. Absolutely. Um, gosh, it, it has been, it's been almost 12 years. So uh, long story short, I came across an ad that Jared ran one time in Jackson, Mississippi, honestly, by happenstance. I, I wasn't necessarily looking for anything. I already, was already currently running two different businesses at the time. But, and I don't remember what the ad that said exactly, Jared, but it intrigued me and it hit me as kind of that right time, right place kind of thing. And it got my interest up enough where I picked up the phone and actually made a call. I think I talked to Jennifer, I know I talked to Jennifer first, and then I wound up talking to you. Gosh, you said, I think uh, the next day or two, you were, you were going to be over in uh, Baton Rouge, which is about three and a half hours for, uh, for each of us. And uh, so got in the car on kind of blind faith and, and uh, met you and uh, got to meet John Kite that day. Love what I heard. And uh, as far as the business side of this, that, you know, I was a business owner for many, many years and that intrigued me. Uh, in fact, I was just having a conversation kind of about this with a new agent just literally a few minutes ago. Um, that's what intrigued me. And I really, that was the path I saw myself going down at this business it was just was, was building a business and building a legacy for my family one day. Well, and so since since you're talking about that, what a what a good segue for me, Eric. Thanks, appreciate that. That made it life easy for me. Um, talk about like from because you did own you've owned several businesses, and obviously mm-hmm. you and Heather have had great success. What was like even to this day? What is kind of some of those fundamentals for people who are watching this that like you know sometimes we just don't think about certain things you know and how they can build on or, or leverage on for us long term what are some of those things that kind of caught your attention and still to this day catch your attention i think some of the most important things are so what i was current what, what i was doing at the time one of the businesses i was i was doing at the time was franchise sales and development so it always intrigues me to this day how somebody would come in and I had stacks of people that were interested in spending 300, 500,000, a million dollars just for a franchise fee, then having to go in and build out brick and mortar, staff it, train, work six and a half days a week, all to hopefully break even in year five. So when I saw that, you know, your cost of entry here was a couple of hundred bucks for a license, maybe some e a handful of leads, you know, just call it 500, 600 bucks, whatever, and you're in the game, Man, think of the availability for most people out there to be able to start their own business for that. And then not only that, not because that was, you know, these franchises, that was a local area, not even regional. So here you have a national platform. I remember you showed me that lead, said, look, I can go out and make $500 every time I help one of these families, or I could teach somebody how to go help a family make $500 and I'd get like $100, you know, make $100 for doing that. And that's what caught me right there. How many leads can I have? How, where can I go nationwide? Where else can you have a nationwide platform to build a business for relatively nothing on the front end other than some sweat equity and a, and a license? Yeah, it's funny because I was just doing a breakout session uh, that I was recording for the NTC that's coming up. And I know, shameless plug, Eric's going to be doing live dialing on the <laughs> NTC this Friday. So shameless plug, but definitely a good plug. If you guys are planning on plug- plugging into that, which you should, you get ready because it'll be good. Listen to Eric and some other uh, professionals dialing live to recruit. Um but uh, but I was just doing it. I was just doing a breakout session, and I said, you know, that distribution of product game is where it's at, you know. And and so I remember actually, like I think it was like three weeks after I met you, I I came up to Jackson, Mississippi. You had fifty people in a room, you know, 
there's one if if i don't ask you how you got those 50 people somehow into a room people on this video are going to hate me so you're going to have to definitely how 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 did that happen what did you you know obviously you didn't know much but you got 50 people in the room what 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 led to that honestly it was just sheer excitement and enthusiasm i didn't know squat i still couldn't draw the stuff that john was showing and i didn't quite understand all the insurance stuff i just knew that i had met some people that were making money in an industry that makes money year round all the time. Historically, there's never ups, there's never downs. The last thing I wanted to do was get in some business that was kind of fly by night or very, you know, great for two years and then gone the next. It's kind of steady Eddie old insurance, you know what I mean? And, and I, I was excited about, I was excited about the mundaneness of it and that it is not necessarily exciting and the results are super exciting. But I was just talking to people and keeping it very simple. Hey, man, do you want to make a bunch of extra money? <laughs> Come up. You got, what are you doing Friday night? And I put them on the spot and I just, you know, and I said, bring anybody you want. This is going to be really awesome. And uh, that's about as much as I said, because that's about all I knew. I didn't even, I don't even think I'd signed up for my class yet. At that well, point, so. if people didn't realize this, David Schneider's organization, all the way mm -hmm. through Pompilly, Dubner, Knox, you know, came out of that may meeting due to mike athis and so Correct. that is so it's amazing the trail effect that that's had that that very first 50 person meeting had but that i mean millions of dollars a year volume came out of that first okay. meeting and so uh so if if somebody's watching this and they're just getting going with us you know explain to them real quick on like especially because what you just talked about you had 50 people in there how, you know, if they're fearful about approaching people about this, what, what's your recommendation for them? Well, the biggest mistake I think people make that are want to build is they want to wait and see if it works for them. And then they can go approach people. And it's insurance. It works. It's a trillion dollar industry. Like it's not, they just want to know, does it work for me? And for me, I let my ego go because I didn't want to be a big producer. I told you, I care less about being a big producer. And I've got guys on my team, guys and girls on my team that are far better at this than me, but I hired them or I hired people that hired them. That's what I wanted to do. And so don't, don't be so, don't have an ego about this thing. Let it go, build it. I mean, I had one intention was to have more freedom on my schedule so I could get to know my kids and have a good relationship with Heather, my wife, and then be able to do things, not be confined to a building or anything like that. I can just go at my own pace. And I was excited. I'm still excited to this day. Don't wait. And that one person might lead you to one person. You, you in fact, said this. We talk pretty much on the first day of the year, every year. And I remember this because last year you asked me a question. You asked me, how many people am I looking for for this year? And I said, so I don't know, 500, whatever. I said, how many are you looking for? You go, one. One, one person can change your business. I know I have changed your business. I know Darren Willis has changed your business and there's a lot of others, but they didn't all come at once and, they, and it, you have to be patient. I'm just looking for one now because I figured it out. I'm smart enough to listen to you and figure one person can change your business. David, Mike Eight has changed my business and who knows who they'll get. Nate Maddox changed my business. These other people have changed my business. So that's, that's what's got, it. it all starts with one. But I know you make a healthy amount of money off the book of business that I've created over the years. And, uh, and, and so have these guys. So that's what I, that still excites me today is who can we run across? A handful of people equaled $19 million in volume <laughs> last year. Um, it's, it's amazing how like people don't. So, so if somebody's out there and they go, man, you guys have this huge business, a lot of volume. You, you just answered the question, uh, you know, has the biggest person been found yet, Eric? No, I truly, and I truly believe that. You'll hear that. That ah, sounds like something cool yeah. to say. I don't think they have. Somebody out there, and man, I sure hope I find them or somebody in my organization finds them. And that what's crazy is there's people like, there is somebody that has the potential to do what we've done or better within 10 miles of where I'm sitting. They just don't know about it yet because we haven't shared it enough. That's my true thought process. So final, final thought, 2021, the year 2021, how does it look for Eric Bowling and organization? Well, I tell you, like every, every year, everybody's excited and fired up, but the, the, with the integrity effect coming and so much excitement coming this year, it's never been better. Like, you know, we talked to just a little while ago about, man, I thought these holidays would never end. You know what I mean? Like I was ready to go. 
and you can't force anybody to do anything. But now it's wide open. I'm, I'm excited about Friday and the NTC. And then after that, man, it's go time. Let's get it. Let's sh it, it, just share the opportunity, share, share what we do for clients, but share the opportunity for those you want to build and don't let up and be patient. Just be patient because it, it takes work. But let me tell you, man, it is so worth it for the lifestyle that you can create for yourself. I'll tell you what, that is, that's it, man. Well, Eric Bowling, our agent spotlight of week one of 2021. Thank you, sir, for getting on the call or getting on the video today. We appreciate it. And let's go out and get it for the rest of the year. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.